Since October last year, members of the University and College Union have been in a pay dispute with the University Management. Initially, staff were offered a 1% pay rise, which has now increased to 2%. This is still more than a 12% decrease over the past five years. This has been happening whilst vice-chancellors who have made this offer have seen their own salaries increase by an average of over 5% in the last year alone. The situation has escalated and now our tutors and lecturers are calling for a marking boycott. We'll find out at the beginning of May if this goes ahead. So, what does that mean for students? We have a direct interest in supporting the strikes and this marking boycott. We must support the people that have supported us. Staff are defending our education system. The challenges faced by university staff don't exist in a vacuum. They are symptomatic of the same agenda which has increased tuition fees to £9,000. It's about the gender pay gap. On average, women earn 10% less than men working in higher education. It's about PhD students who are neglected to the point of suffering from mental health problems. It's about graduate teaching assistants who are overworked and underpaid. It's about university workers on zero-hour contracts being paid below the living wage. Now vice chancellors are saying they'll dock 100% of lecturers' pay if they take part in the boycott. Universities would rather go to work with their own staff than allow real democratic decisions to be made. It's up to us to fight for an education system as it should be. One where staff as well as students are valued. That's why I back the boycott. I back the boycott. I, I back, back the boycott. boycott.